welcome 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 back to my world is gorgeous we have some things planned for today all right <clears throat> one thing i gotta do is i need to repot one of my pencil hollies it's been in a smaller pot for a while and yes it is cold outside but we're still gonna repot it it's in a pot so we're gonna repot that and then we're gonna take that pot and the other one that's a whole lot bigger and we're gonna take that to the front yard after we do that i need to take some of the greenhouse plastic that i have and i need to place it <clears throat> over and i need to place it over so if you look here let me turn you guys around I have it here, but it's not enough to really cover the front. Enough to get the back, but not the front. And then I want to put greenhouse plastic over here. Now, the funny thing is, <clears throat> this morning, I was out here and I was looking at my arugula. Let me tell y'all, it was not looking the way it is <laughs> now. It dropped down last night to about 18 degrees, and the arugula was looking like it was done for. But look, look at here, look at here. It has bounced back with the sun. And then I have some kale over here that I had started from seed <clears throat> that's conglomerate together. And I need to take that and separate it and stick it in somewhere else. I also have, let me move slow and not spin y'all around. here i need to probably well it doesn't seem like it needs to be watered just yet i may give it some um nutrients but i have this here <clears throat> that's growing inside of here this was inside the greenhouse and i brought it outside this is cabbage right here so we're gonna see how it does out here if it looks like i need to stick it back in the greenhouse trust me y'all i will but <clears throat> that's kale and swiss chard now, on yesterday, I did not video it, but I moved this arch here. It was, spin slowly, right there where you see those um, two crates at. It was there near the grapevine, but I decided to move it, okay? So we're going to have it right here. Uh, for next year and I'm gonna have to put a little bit more of a hole in the ground because I have the braces brackets in it but with that piece not actually going down into the ground a little bit it's um, <clears throat> not giving it the sturdiness that it is needed there so um, that is there for next year we have greenhouse plastic on one this is plastic I already had but I'm gonna add some greenhouse plastic to this one I have a um, bag that I can put around this to make sure that it lives throughout the winter and I could get snow peas off of it. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's about three or four plants up in there. I know it's definitely three. It's a possibility it's four, but I do have a bag that I am going to put <clears throat> around it and zip it up. That way that can um, at night be a little bit warmer and we can get snow peas out of it. On yesterday, my guy that brings me my boxes <clears throat> brought me these two right here. He's supposed to bring another one today that I'm going to put out in the front. And hopefully he'll bring, it's two that he's bringing. And hopefully he can collapse the other one because these two actually can collapse. They have brackets on the ends of them. So hopefully he collapsed those two, um, one of them, so he can get the other one here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to move, one will sit here on this side of the, um, why can't I think of that bush? My fig tree. And then I'm going to move um, this here and put the other one possibly on the other side. <clears throat> um, so... That's what we're doing there. The other thing I will possibly do is stick it in the middle where the fig tree is and then move the fig tree down. So we have to see how well it works out. But I wanna put that in two parts um, as well. Now, the other thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna get up more of these leaves. Y'all see this? I told you all in the other video, my yard, with the leaves the way it's looking and I haven't had a chance to really get them up I've started raking them 
<clears throat> I've been cutting them up. I've been putting them into my compost. I'll walk over to the compost right now and let you see it as we walk upon these <laughs> as I walk to the compost. But this is my four bin compost system. And yes, the leaves are ground up inside of there, even though some of them don't look like it. <clears throat> but I have to take my lawnmower and get more of these leaves up. And the funny thing is all the leaves are still have still not fallen off of the tree. They are not all gone. So we're definitely going to get those two things done today. And I need to finish working on the door for the greenhouse to make sure that no cold air comes in there. So right here is a gap, but I have fixed this. So air does not come through here. I took another board. You can kind of see it right here. And um, some, um, oh, I can't think of what this is. I'll pop it up in the <clears throat> on the screen. Flashing, that's what it is. And flashing and put across here. Flashing was put down here, but it's not working the way that we thought it would. So I have a piece of wood where how we did on this side here, and we put that there. I'm going to put some here going down, straight down, so I'll still be able to close it. And I'll probably have to make a new hole for this little part here, which is not a problem. And so, um, yeah, so that's how we're going to end up doing that today as well hopefully we'll get that done so those are the things that i need to do today the other thing that i need to do is i need to get my wheelbarrow or a pot or something and take some compost that i made inside of um this uh box here garden box and i need to take it to let me show you we're going to take it right here so what i did was remember i revamped this driveway earlier this year <clears throat> and I love it I love it but this side was just so much more bigger than this side and I kind of wanted to even them out a little bit and once I even them I have even them out I need to add more compost to this area here so that way um you know right there where it's no soil at I can have soil there and I'm going to build it up a little bit higher like on this side the other thing I did was stuck a stone here and I'm going to back my car up my car can come all the way down the driveway and clearly the driveway used to go all the way to the garage but like I've shared in other videos I don't use my garage as a garage I use it like a shed so the car doesn't need to go all the way down there but if I ever decided that I wanted to go back like that I can easily remove these um fences that I built <clears throat> everything is just screwed in and I'll just unscrew it nothing is actually into the ground but I can unscrew it and if I want to which more than likely I won't but one of the boxes that is being brought is kind of built on um right angles or whatever and so I'm it's supposed to be really big and I'm going to sit it right here which is why I set that there so next year in the spring when I get this driveway regraveled re it will look awesome and I'm going to take four boxes two will go here because two can fit in this rectangle here so two will go there and then let me turn around slowly two will go on the opposite side here yes that's a basketball goal that we are removing but the other two will go there and um yeah and then that'll be it for this area here it'll look like a really cute courtyard as you walk into this area that i have to finish graveling and i'm trying to decide on i think i'm gonna go ahead and still do the pea gravel over there as well so let's stop talking and let's get to working I just set all of this stuff on top. 
get our shovel and start putting some soil funny part to me getting the soil <coughs> is that worms are all through here that's the only thing that's really funny to me now I'm wondering if I'm able to I might need to put just a little bit more and then I should be good. <laughs> because there is soil in the other pot that I'm taking it out of. Now the odd thing is that a piece of glass is in here. I don't know where this glass came from. <clears throat> set it inside that bucket right there all right so now that we have this here i'm going to take this over to the other side and i'm just tossing worms in there that's all i'm gonna take that to the other side and I'm going to get um start putting the other plant inside of here and then taking it to the front yard because that's where it's gonna end up staying. All right, so let's get that done. turn this the other way. Now. Now I'm 
gonna pause you guys and I'm gonna go get a little bit more soil to top this thing off and it's gonna be perfect, okay? and everything right up in here so we got this one potted up the other one is already over there and like I said that one is a lot bigger it's been in the pot a whole lot longer so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to get my handy dandy wheeler and put both of these and wheel them to the front I'll be right back It worked. All righty, y'all. Let's get the rolling. Let's see how that looks. I mean, it really don't look that bad. It's just that the one to the right is considerably bigger than the other one. 
and the other one all of them are different sizes <clears throat> so I'm okay with one looking bigger than the other that's just what it's gonna have to be I'm gonna clean off the um, pots and I'm just gonna keep them there I probably put a reef up go in the back and get the reef stick it up there and um, that's what we're gonna have going on right now for Christmas I also have um, some little uh, what do they call Christmas boxes that light up that I usually pull out in a couple of reindeer so I may do that I'm not sure I may set it where all the reindeer are kind of sitting right there near the stairs and then put the boxes there and I keep a little reindeer trough that looks like they're eating out of so we'll see what I end up doing this year I'm not gonna do a lot I tell you that much so let's see y'all so we got leaves blown look at that look it's so great we got leaves blown so we got the front yard cleaned up a little bit as much as it's gonna look like for the fall now I had raked all well blew all of the leaves over here and then I took my lawnmower <clears throat> and cut them up my goal is to make this entire area right here a flower bed um, at first I was putting boxes there I'm not sure if I'm gonna do just a raised bed an extremely long raised bed here or whether I want to put um, four boxes here but either way it's gonna be something uh, right there and then at one point I was thinking it would make the driveway a little bit wider if I didn't put anything <clears throat> right there and you could get two cars but I'm like at what point do I ever have that many cars here usually I only have one to two cars here <laughs> at a time you know when people come visit <clears throat> even when I give birthday parties for the kids it's I have two driveways so it's not that serious so I'm going to put me cutting up the leaves and stuff like that and putting it there. It'll be, it'll make it a really, really good base for um, the beds that I'm going to put in right there. And when I put those beds in, I'm really thinking about allowing it to just be like, let that be like my cut flowers or I don't know, I might put some um alberta spruce or something there i haven't really made a 100 percent decision just yet but i do know something is going along that fence line there but like i said i got all of that cleaned up and let me get my shadow out the way <clears throat> i got the pencil holly potted the little one now it can grow big like the other one and I got that sitting up here I pulled out my little Christmas boxes they light up but most of the time I don't plug them in <clears throat> so I got a brick in my hand that I'm about to stick under there so it'll hold still so the wind don't blow them away and now last but not least we're gonna go around back and see about getting the greenhouse plastic over top of the other bed that's back there. We also put the wreath on the door. So that's looking nice. So the wreath is on the door. The trees are there. And I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to go get my reindeer and place one and one here. And they look like they're eating out of their 
buckets so we'll see we will see well that's it for part one check back in next week to see the next part see if we get everything done don't forget to like share and subscribe